The top United Nations official in Mali told the Security Council on Monday that the UN peacekeeping force known as MINUSMA is on schedule to depart the country by the end of the year. But El Ghassan Wayne also acknowledged that the situation is volatile and dangerous. Difficulties have emerged in the implementation of the first phase of the withdrawal plan. The last convoy of blue helmets, equipment and materials which withdrew from the Bear peacekeeping camp to go towards the city of Timbuktu took 51 hours to cover a distance of 57 kilometers and the convoy was attacked twice by an unidentified extremist element. Four blue helmets were injured and three vehicles were damaged before the convoy's arrival into Timbuktu. Despite the challenges, Mali reaffirmed it does not plan to alter the withdrawal date. I would like to say that the government of Mali does not foresee an extension of the deadline for UN peacekeepers' departure beyond the 31st of December this year. There are also other uncertainties. Mali's transitional government had welcomed the help of fighters from Russia's Wagner Group. But with the death of Wagner's founder, Yergadny Prigozhin, the group's future in Mali is now in doubt, something Western countries welcomed. The Russian mercenary group Wagner is directly linked to human rights atrocities in Mali, including the systematic use of conflict-related sexual violence. As illustrated by recent events in Russia, they are part of the problem, not the solution, in Mali and beyond. Barring any unforeseen circumstances, this likely will be the last time Security Council members are briefed before the withdrawal deadline. And given the precarious security situation, there is certainly an air of trepidation about what could be to come. But at this point, when it comes to UN peacekeepers permanently leaving Mali, it appears there is no turning back. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.